strong contender for best debut of the Big Four. Super strong debut from the most underrated of the Big Four. Strong debut, Big Four. Just using words everyone else will. This feels like if Exodus and FKU had a baby. Was blown away going back to this. Forgot I loved it. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Belladonna. Just as good as Fistful with better production. Favorite Anthrax album. Among my favorite thrash records. And Frank Bello. Super heavy punk influence. Keeping it fun. There's the sound I was looking for. Gimme stompy riffs. It's a good album. Oh, packed full of jams. Just like Snickers is packed with peanuts. Seen it played live in its entirety. Probably my favorite. Second favorite. A lot of gems, keeping the momentum. Ah. Even says it, packed with peanuts. Relentless, powerful, and mosh worthy. Without a doubt, their best album. Definitely my favorite of the early era. You guys are gonna reimburse me for the Snickers I had to buy? For this stupid joke? I'm sure you're not, but. No complaints here, just another solid record. The drums sound weak in the mix and intensity. Next! Honestly, doesn't do much for me. Antisocial's cool. No drastic sound changes with a few gems. Starting to slow the tempo, but still pretty damn good. Got the time is the reason I wanted to learn bass. Ah. Starting to lose that magic, missing something exciting. This album is definitely slept on. Better production? Still not for me. And here's a special vinyl kiss for the pressing of Got the Time as a single. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a John Bush! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Bush. Great start to the John Bush era. Going back, Bush is better than I remember. This reeks of the 90s. Bush's vocals changed the band overnight. I'd argue for the better. What fucking band is this again? Alice in Chains? This album had four lead guitarists. Is, is Chris doing his thing? Sounds more like Anthrax and less like alternative rock. Anthrax? Seriously? Just kind of there. Not bad, but not great either. Solid follow-up. No standout tracks, but still good. Because if not, ladies and gentlemen, Dimebag Daryl! Getting a little weird, but Inside Out is straight fire. Remember when these albums had personality? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Fuck. They sound like Pantera at times. Thanks, I hate it. Not sure what's going on here. Probably the band's least impressive outing in any generation. Back on track. Great album. Bush goes out on a high note. What doesn't die? Riffs are great here. What doesn't die is awesome. I absolutely adore this record. It has everything in my top 10 personal favorites cadillac rock box welcome back a joey belladonna great return for belladonna blends old and new air as well joey is back and they're keeping up the quality the album they needed to make an awesome comeback some shaky moments but Belladonna fit right into it. Proof of their underrated status among the big four. Proof that of the big four, they aged best. I don't like it as much as Worship, but it's still okay. Probably their most ambitious album. Amazing instrumentation. Scott is amazing at structuring songs. Keep that momentum rolling. <laughs> 